Hello guys, welcome back to Gujarat Tips and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix The small land survived the wilds is crashing at startup It is not launching, freezing and stuttering, stuck on loading screen, low FPS drop and even black screen issue which is happening for some of the users and how we can fix this app So let's dive into the workaround The first one is all about if you're having this issue just go for a restart So go over here, click on this one, go for a simple restart and check whether that is going to fix the issue. For some of you guys, a simple restart can fix the issue. So try with a simple restart as a basic step. Once after that, even after trying with the restart, if you go back to the play and if you're having the issue, then just move to the next step. Next to us is all about, we need to verify integrity of game file. For that, we just need to go over here, go to the game, right click and go to properties. Now go to local file. Now click on verify integrity of game file. So this is going to take a little bit of time. So what happens is in this process, if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing, all these kind of issues will be fixed by this particular step. Sometimes the crashing and all these kind of issues can be caused because of any corrupted file as well as the mixing, uh, missing files. So if anything is in between there, this particular step can fix the issue. This did work out for many users when they do the step. Verify integrity of game file has helped many of the users when it comes to all these kind of issues which I mentioned in the beginning. So just try with the verify integrity of game file. Once you're done with this one, try to play the game. That is That might help you guys to fix the issue. If this is not solving the issue, then we just have to move to the next step. That is all about, instead of launching the game from the Steam, try launching the game from the Steam installation folder. This did work out for many users, not for this game, but in the previous some of the games when some users had issue, like uh, this one, F122 had an issue, it helped them. So, so I have seen that uh, many users mentioned this step in the Reddit. So that's why I'm recommending you can try this out. So we have two methods to navigate to the installation folder. From here, we have a method by a shortcut that is all about it. Go over here in the game, right click and go to properties. Now go to local file, click on browse. That is redirected to this one. Now launch the game from here. This is all the installation folder if you check at the top. So instead of launching the game from here, try launching the game from here in the installation folder. This did work out for many of the users. Next one, we can also navigate to the installation folder from the Steam itself. So uh, for many users, this worked as well. So we need to know how to navigate to the installation folder from uh, using the file explorer. For that, just click on the file uh, local to C. Now go to program file x86. Keep scrolling down and navigate to Steam folder. Keep scrolling down and navigate to Steam apps. Now from here, go to common. Now from here, we need to go to small land. Open this. Now launch the game. So just launch the game frame instead of launching the game frame steam launch the game frame here This might be helping guys out to fix fix the issue up So if this is not working, let's move to the next step. That is all about we need to run the game as an administrator So I'll show you hence we are in the installation folder. I'll show you the game from here itself So just select the game. I mean navigate to the installation folder then select the application Right click and go to show more options go to properties go to compatibility. Sorry. I'll do it once again Go to, sorry, let me select this, show more options, properties, comp compatibility. Now from here, go check, run this program as an administrator, go for apply and go for okay and try to play the game. This might help you guys out. There is one more step that I would like to add. That is all about, we need to run the game on compatibility mode. For that, just right click over here, go to show more options, go to properties, go to compatibility. Now from here, click on run this program in compatibility mode. Now, first try with Windows 7. Run this in Windows 7, go for apply and go for OK. If this is not working, try changing the compatibility mode and run it on Windows 8. Okay. So here changes to Windows 8 as well. Go for apply and go for OK. After trying this, if it's still not working, then you should not be, uh, you should move to the next step. But before that, just change this, which means you have to go over here, go to once again. Then uncheck this, keep run this program as an administrator, but uncheck this running in the compatibility mode. Then go for apply and go for OK and move to the next step. Next step is all about, we need to change the Windows language to English if you are having the language in any other default. Right now, as you can see, I'm on English, but if you are playing the game or the Windows language is in set into any uh, local, uh, uh, I mean, any native language of yours, then you should change this to English. For that, we just need to go over here Go to settings. 
Now from here go to time and language. Over here we have two option date and time, language and region. First select this one. First give your respective country. Here as you can see I'm from India so I have given my country over here. So you have to select the respective country. Once after that set the language to English. So you can click on this one or go for add language. Search for English over here. Now add it. Once you add it just go back. Keep in mind there is one more bonus tip. Make sure the date time zone is correct as well. So make sure this is turn it on turn it on and the correct zone should be correct once after that go back and try to launch the game next step is all about we need to launch the game but you have to press alt and tab together on the keyboard so just click on the play button at the moment when you are clicking on the play button press alt and tab from the keyboard this did work out for many users so you can you can try this out as well so this is an important step so for many users when it comes to uh, issues for Sifu, the game over here, as you can see, this did work out, so you can try this out. Next one is all about, we need to delete the saved game file. So if any uh, game files are saved over here, you can see that if you go to the documents over here, you can see if you find anything in the folder of Summerland, then you just need to delete the respective folder. So that will be losing all the progressions in the game. I understood, but this did work out for many users. So just delete the folder of Summerland. Once after that, go back and try to play the game from the start. Next one is all about, we need to allow the game to Windows security. For that, we just need to go over here, go for search. Now go for, uh, over here, go to control panel. Now go to Windows Defender Firewall. Now from here, go to allow an app for feature through Windows Defender Firewall. From here, just keep scrolling down and search for small land. So over here, if you scroll down, you'll be able to see in the S and citizen alphabet. Keep scrolling down, you'll be able to see over here, Okay, the small land survived the wild has been already added, but keep in mind that this should be checked. The private and public should be checked, which is already did. So imagine if the game is not here, we need to add it. So how to add it? Just click on allow another app, go for browse. Now from here, go to this PC, go to local disk C, keep scrolling down and navigate to program file x86. Keep scrolling down and navigate to Steam folder, Steam apps, go to common. Now from here, go to small land now from here we just need to add this so here i'll be getting error because it's already added so once it is added just close this go back and try to play the game next one is all about unplug all the usb devices because this is one of the main reason so just remove everything from the usb devices even if its controllers are connected joystick is there remove everything once after that launch the game after game is successfully launched if you wanted to play the game with the controller connect it back so after game is successfully launched, connect back the controller and try to play the game. This did work out for many users as well. Next one is all about we need to perform a clean boot. For that, we just need to go over here in the search. Go for system configuration. Go for services. Go for hide all Microsoft services. Go for disable all. Apply and OK. It might ask you for a restart. So just go for restart. After that, go to the Steam and try to play the game. Next one is all about we need to disable Steam overlay and overclocking application. For that, just go over here, right click and go to properties. Make sure this is unchecked. That means uh, it is disabled. Once after that, we have to give the launch uh, commands in the launch option, which is an additional step you can try out. So let me give you this command that the first one is DX11. Go for the command DX11 and try to launch the game. If this is not working, change the command to DX12. Then we need to try to play the game as well. So DX11 and DX12, any one of this can be done. If both the things is not working, just remove everything from the launch option. Keep it same and move to the next step. Next step is all about we need to close overlay applications as well as overclocking application. For that, we need to go over here in the start, right click and go to device manager. Now from here, we need to go over here. Sorry, not device manager. Right click and go to task manager. Okay. Now from here, as you can see, these things are actually running in the background of mine, but there are 94 background apps which is running in the background as well. So from here, we need to uh, differentiate the dis uh, overlay as well as overclocking application, which is both the reason causing the crashing issue. So if you find anything like this code over here, which is actually an example of overlay application, so just remove it. So just remove uh, this code. If you find any personal antiviruses, just remove it and you can remove it over here. So this actually comes under the category overlay application. So this plays a major role for crashing. So just remove everything from the background. 
Once after that, cross check yourself whether you are able to see anything like you know Riva Tuner, MSI Afterburner, etc., which comes under the category overclocking application, which is one of the main 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 reason for crashing issues. So if you find anything over here like this, just remove at it without any doubt, remove it completely. Once after that, make sure you remove everything and try to play the game. For many users, when they close the overlay applications as well as overclocking applications, it helps with them. So you can try this out as well. Next one is all about we need to run the game on dedicated graphics card. For that, we just need to go over here in the search. Now we need to go to graphics settings over here. Now from here, as you can see here, I have already added many games. We have to add the same way. So just click on the browse over here. Now from here, go to this PC, go to local DC, keep scrolling down to program file x86, keep scrolling down to Steam folder, go to Steam apps, go to common, from here go to small land, where is it? Now select this one, add it. So it is already added, but this is not enough. Just click on the option. Now, as you can see by default, this would be let Windows decide, change this to high performance. So that when you're launching the game, the graphics card is utilized in the background. So you'll not be having any crashing issue. Go for save, then try to launch the game as well. Next one is all about, we need to increase virtual memory. For that, we just need to go over here, search for view advanced system setting, go for advanced and click on settings, go for advanced once again, go for change, make sure this is unchecked and select the local disk where the game is installed. Here local disk C is where the game is installed. So I have select this one. Go for custom size, give the value for initial size that is 1.5 times the total RAM. Maximum size is 3 times the total RAM. First, we need to know the RAM. So I know what is the RAM of my computer, which is 32 GB. So if you don't know how to find it, go over here in the search, go to settings, which is quite simple. Go to the system at the top, keep scrolling down and go for about and make sure over here will be understood that 32 GB is the RAM. So just find 32 GB is the RAM. Once after that, we need to calculate uh, calculate the values for we need a calculator for just go for the calculator. Multiply your RAM with a constant value 1024. So 32 is my RAM. So I multiplied with 1024. That brings me 32,760. So I have to multiply it with 1.5. That brings me 49,152. So I have to paste it over here. Next one is all about I have to multiply 32 GB into 1024 one, itself. Sorry, there was a mistake. 32 GB into 1024. I have to multiply it with 3 because maximum size is 3, three times the total RAM. So just give this value. Now go for OK. Once everything has been set, go back and try to play the game. Virtual memory, increasing the virtual memory did work out for many users. So that is why I'm recommending you this step as well. Next one is all about, we need to update the graphics card manually. So I'll be providing a link in the description to both NVIDIA as well as for the AMD users. So if you're on the NVIDIA, just click on this link. So that will take you to this page. Now from here, select everything, product type, product series, product, operating system, language, etc. So here I'm in Windows 11. So I have to select Windows 11. Now go for start search. From here, you will be able to get the latest released versions of graphics card. Over here, you can see there are many versions. So the latest one is over here 531.41, which is released on 23 March 2023. So just download this version and install it this on your PC and try to play the game. If you're on the AMD, just go to this page. Now select the every details of yours and go for submit. Now, if you're on Windows 11, you have to download this one. If you're on Windows 10, you have to download this one. Install this as well. And keep in mind, you have to do a restart after installing this. Try to play the game. For many users, when they updated the graphics card, this did work it. Next step is all about we need to install Microsoft Visual C++. For that, I'll be giving a link in the description that will take you to this. From here, you have to download the appropriate one. If you don't know how to check the system type of your computer, just go over here in the search, go to settings, now from here, you just have to go to system, keep scrolling down, go for about and over here as you can see, 64 bit operating system is what it is. Sorry, so 64 bit operating system is what it is. So now we just have to go back and download this one, download and install this. And once after that, try to do a restart, then try to play the game. Next step is all about, we need to update the windows. For that, we just need to go over here in the search, go for settings. Now from here, go to windows update. Now from here, download and install the latest version of Windows. Once you install the latest version of Windows, try to play the game. For many users, when they have these kind of updates, just update it. Go for update it and make sure the Windows is on latest versions and once after that, try to play the game. Last and the least one is all about, we need to uh, do is we need to 
uninstall and reinstall the game. For uninstalling the game, just right click over here, go to manage and uninstall the game. For reinstalling it back, keep in mind, you have to install the game back like we all do, but keep in mind, you have to change the local disk. So right now the game is on local disk C. So I have to change the local disk from C to any other local disk. So that will be working for this. So these are the possible workarounds which you have to try out when you're having an issue with small LAN survival the wild, survive the wild, crashing at startup and all these kind of issues. And I hope this video is helpful. And if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification. See you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye bye.